daily stoic we all we got don't be inspired be inspirational let us also produce some bold act of our own and join the ranks of the most emulated it was common in greek and roman times just as it is now for politicians to pander to their audience democrats and republicans i'm talking about you guys they would infuse praise on the crowd on their country on inspiring military victories of the past how many times have you heard a political candidate say this is the greatest country in the history of the world as an orator we must point out we'll gladly sit for hours to hear a speaker who stands in front of some famous or sacred landmark praising our ancestors and describing their exploits and their trophies. But what does this flattery accomplish? Nothing. Worse, the admiration of shiny accolades distracts us from their true purpose. It portrays the very ancestors who inspired us. He concluded in his speech to the Athenian people with words that would later echo and still resound centuries later, reflect then he said that your ancestors set up those trophies, not that you may gaze at them in wonder, but that you may also innate the virtues of the men who set them up. Imitate, excuse me. The same goes for the quotes in this book and for other inspiring words you might hear. Don't just admire them, use them. Follow their example. If I had a bomb to drop, it's not good enough to admire the founding fathers, to admire Rockefeller, MLK, Carnegie, JP Morgan, the Constitution, and regurgitate the talking points of said documents and heroes. But what are you doing to be inspirational? Yeah, you're inspired, but don't be inspired, be inspirational. And join the ranks of those emulated heroes. Innovate and create and bring something new to the table. Or you could continue to pound your chest with the rest of the pandering crowd and audiences. But I'd rather build with the greatest African-American ever in American history, Elon Musk. But don't be inspired. Be inspirational. Daily Stoic, we all we got.